Hey family, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel, Mob Rep Prepping. We're gonna get into a doozy today. This is one of my areas that I absolutely love. Um, I don't know if I love discussing it so much, but it's a huge area of concern when we think about big events happening and you know our ability to continue to have this, and that's water, right? What's the ability of having, um, procuring water, getting water, making water safe to drink, all that stuff. So anytime I hear on the news, different stuff that's happening with different, you know, boil notices, hey, something's happened in the water, or maybe the treatment system is not working, or maybe there was a storm and something got infected, whatever the case may be, when it has to do with water, I pay attention, right? And I've always made this a pretty big area for us and my family in regards to preparing for it and being ready for it. Now, if you haven't been paying attention to the news lately, um, New Orleans is the latest, I guess, um, area, if you will, right? Uh, Louisiana is the state to... Um, have to worry about water right and we've we've seen these different things arise and problems arise but they've been dealing with a situation last couple of weeks where they've been inundated with salt making its way into their water and basically typically they have to worry about storms hurricanes things like that and so at first when i first heard the story i was like oh, okay hurricanes somehow salt water is getting in there but really what it is is it is the storms it is the hurricanes but essentially water is rising their water levels are rising their tables are rising and water salt water is making it into the system and it's serious right it's a it's a it's a um that's not even a boil you know notice it's a don't drink the water notice and I, I hate um, when we talk about stuff that's so serious and then we also try to talk it down like it's not that big of a deal. Like, hey, hey, by the way, there's too much salt in this. Do not drink it, but don't panic either. Don't go panic buying. Don't panic buy water. You know, don't do all the things that people that don't prepare are going to do, which is panic and buy water. And that's what's been happening in the stores in that area. They've been getting bought out of water and there's been a lot of panic because people are like, what do you mean? Because so many people in our society are dependent on the systems that are in place for us, our water systems, our electric grid, you know, the sewer systems, all these things that people are dependent on. They expect that water to come out of the tap. They expect it to come out clean and drinkable and ready to go. And, you know, a lot of families actually don't drink tap water. They just drink bottled water and all that. And if you're able to pay for that, great. But um, that's not the way to prepare either, right? Having a couple extra cases of water is not what I mean by preparing, okay? Now, without getting into, hey, the importance of preparing and having water, let's just talk about what's going on. Like, how do you prepare for something like this? Well, one, um, they were paying attention and as soon as they heard or they were told they knew what was happening, then, okay, now they know what's happening and they know to stop. Um, I'm not sure what happened before that. Were people drinking water and, and, and tasting salt and being like, wow, this, this seems like there's something going on, something's wrong with the treatment centers, what's happening, right? And... Um, and it's hard, it's, it's, I can't imagine, but it's why we stockpile water, right? I can only imagine if it's getting in the systems and it's because of the tables, the water tables, I mean, to me, well water could be at risk as well, depending on these water tables and what's going on. Um, so it's, it's concerning, right? Don't panic, but you can't drink the water. You know, what are you to do? And so it's important that you are preparing for um, having to depend on yourself to get water. You know, water should be free. It shouldn't be something you even pay for. Um, and I get it. We should always have it, but we need to understand how to filter it, boil it, make it safe to drink. Um, we need to know the importance of, even if you have a creek or you have a well, or you have some other way where you have a little bit more control of your water, that you are still stockpiling water. There are certain situations, certain events that that stuff could be compromised and you need to have backups, right? And so you wanna have backups. You wanna have potable water, right? Meaning water you can drink, give your animals, you guys can drink, so drinking water, and then non-potable water. I take old containers, old, um, water containers and I fill them up and I put them in the shed, right? And I fill them up and they're, um, non-potable water, right? And basically that's water that we, um, put in and I'm not, you know, stockpiling a ton of these things, but we have a little stockpile, tiny stockpile that is for the toilets. It's for emergency situations. We lose power. We need to just have water at hand to, um, put in the toilets and flush the toilets, right? It's just an extra thing of water, but that's non-potable water, right? And so 
What kind of potable water, drinking water do you have? And how much do you have on hand that if one system goes that you have enough water for you, your animals, your pets, your livestock, your children, your kids, everybody involved that's in the house that drinks water, right? How long um, does it last? That's some math, baby. I don't like math, but that's math that I like to know. I like to know um, how much water we have in the house, how many gallons, uh, how long will it last our family and our animals, our livestock, and how many days specifically do we have on hand outside of well outside of the creek outside of the tap water outside of all these other things um how much stored water do we have and how much specifically stored drinking water do we have you know if you get caught in a situation where we're all of a sudden inside we have no power we're stuck inside there's nuclear war going on or there's fires around us there's heavy heavy smoke whatever right something has happened something's been compromised a storm trees something something has happened right and you're not able to get your hands on that tap water or that well water even right or you can't go outside to go down to the creek to get water right what is your backups, right? What if you get trapped in some part of your home or whatever? Do, what do you have, right? There's a lot of scenarios that, you know, you being indoors, it really does matter um, if you get trapped indoors, like what do you have on hand? What do you have available? And having layers of everything we talk about in emergency preparedness, layers and levels to it on what you have in regards to options. So take a look at your water, take a look at your stores, see what you have, see what the water is around you, right? To give you options of peculiar curing water and then get the things needed to make it to filter it to boil it to you know people's like oh, i'll just boil it okay do you have the pans to boil it right and and a lot of people are like of course i have pans okay do you have pans that will work over an open flame for example right and is it big enough uh, you know can you boil a, a decent amount of water maybe you want to take a warm bath or something right it matters it, size matters in this case so having large pans being able to boil it have it burners being able to boil it off grid like with no power right um filtering good quality filters right charcoal filters do you have that do you have water testers to be able to test it and check what are the levels for different things um so filtering and boiling and then treating it what do you have on hand to treat and this is more than just bleach this is other things that, on the market that you can get outside of bleach so there's a lot of things i did a water preparedness video thing and in there I actually um posted the water treatment the military water treatment um, manual that we actually use in regards to the numbers the calculations the you know depending on what you're using to treat water all of that stuff okay and so super super important information good to have and you've got to get it planned out and this is one area that's kind of scary and a lot of people don't want to plan for but every single time baby I see it on the news I'm like man that's that's devastating and and all the news gives you is don't panic buy don't panic buy but what do you expect people to do that aren't prepared they're going to panic and they're going to try to get their hands on stuff anyway they can and that's why fortification security is so important as well because if you have people who all of a sudden you know us we just moved here and I was already thinking how do we protect the well right how do you protect your well water um, how do you keep other people from getting into it someday um, you know how do you keep it from being compromised or tampered with from, from bad people anything right there's a lot of things that could happen um, how do you protect it from contamination uh, against different things right so there's a lot that needs to be done to done there but that's what I think about you know and I think about desperate people that are trying to um, find stuff right in this state it's not as crazy too because we have so much rainfall we have a lot of water but on a lot of waterways lakes ponds creeks rivers I mean it's just galore here right but don't sleep on that, right? Do not sleep on that. It's important that you understand all the water around you and how to make it safe to drink, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Take a look. If you guys don't know what's going on in New Orleans, just kind of Google. You can Google New Orleans drinking water. I, I'm sure a bunch of stuff will pop up you can take a look at. Um, and then and, and you see see what it is you need to do to just put yourself and your family in a better situation uh, I'd ask you if you guys are not subscribed to the channel Please support your girl and subscribe to the channel and make sure that you come back hit that bell notification So, you know each and every time that I'm doing a new video and I will see you guys next time on the next video. Take care. Bye